Yo yo yo, what's up guys? In the today's episode, we are visiting Taiga Muay Thai. I want to figure out why so many people from the UFC, from one, from all the greatest federations come to Taiga to train and to know what is the secret. Come and follow me. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about! Wait! Okay now. We had yesterday a small accident with the bike, so today we got a new one. Check it out. Red and black, Albanian color. The parking space of Tigers is bigger than some gyms here on the street. Wow. I'm so excited, follow me. Here behind me you can see all the champions which came out from Tigers who are becoming now UFC champions and who are on their way to become a UFC champion. And if you're good enough and train hard, maybe one day it's your face there also. This time it wasn't me. Here also you can see a big sign of all the Muay Thai instructors. They have here from different levels, from beginner, intermediate, advanced, fighter, and also so you can see the champions. You can take a look and you can see who could be the right coach for you, for your level. That's crazy. Tiger have everything what a fighter need. Also they have a nice massage salon for a good recovery and sport massage. The small cafe of Tigers have everything what a sportist need after his training. Delicious smoothies, healthy shakes and also healthy food. What do you want more? The Tigers shop is probably the biggest merchandise fight shop in the world. They have everything, they have shirts, they have shorts, they have motor helmets, and all the fighting gear, gloves, small guard, it's just crazy. So, Rikap, my name is Viva Sakurat, I'm the uh, CEO and the owner of Tiger Muay Thai. So, as you, everyone knows, this is the number one, the best gym in the whole world. So, uh, please come and, and visit us. You know, this is the best place on earth for the a real fighter. You all, you can see all the UFC champ and all the champ here in our house. Thank you, guys. Here with future UFC champion Shimaev. We have Albanian influence. Ooh. Today we are training with Huli. He's a Mexican American coach, and uh, the Mexicans are famous for the left hooks. Let's see if he shows me today the left hook. I'm in the big leagues, told him don't miss me. Ballin' like Houston, hey, feeling like Whitney. I need a bag, bruh, send it too quickly. I'm making his dog. Like a very nice exercise for mobilization, a very nice warm up. Also, reminds me of my old job. Just too quick for it, peeling off like the whip orange. Seen the effort, this piss poor. I got too much, I gotta tend to. Car payments and the rent due. Told y'all that I'm six foot, but with the money stamming, I'm ten to. Too much that I've been through, so I put it all in that rear view. Clean money in a black whip, got old problems with the friends new. Yeah, I'm in the big leagues, told them don't miss me. Ballin' like Houston, ayy, feeling like Whitney. Yeah, I need a bag, bruh, send it through quickly. Here in this exercise, we see a very nice drill for the footwork to change the ankles and to get the action on. Also very interesting, the coach is using here a watch, so you can see all time how many times it's left, and I think it's a very helpful tool. I'm in the big leagues, told them don't miss me. Ballin' like Houston, ayy, feelin' like Whitney. I need a bag, bruh. 
Send it through quickly. I'm making his dog. Like I'm in a big. My knees are bouncing. Relax. Stop marching. Look. I'm in the big leagues, told them don't miss me Ballin' like Houston, ayy, feelin' like Whitney I need a bag, bruh, send it through quickly I'm making his dog, like I'm in the big leagues Told him that I gotta go, dawg I'm riding a road, y'all I think that I'm back in my bag now So I need that go, y'all Got hits when they throw in the fastball Just too quick for it right Pillin' off like the whip orange Seen it after this piss pour I got too much, I gotta tend to Car payments and a rent due Too much that I've been through, so I put it all in that rear view. Clean money in a black whip, got old problems with a friend's new. Yeah, I'm in the big leagues, told him don't miss me. Ballin' like Houston. You rolled, you did that angle. So good. Ooh, you do damage. You roll, we're in the same stuff again. Yeah, I told him I'ma hit it out of stands. I deserve another hundred bands. I deserve another hundred fans. Told him this was always in the plans. I just did it cause they said I can't. Blowing euros when I'm down in France. Labels asking how I build a brand. Told him put a check up in my hands. Who I got time, no cap. Made a few checks, but they all in the raps. Had a few friends, but they suck in the past. I don't even trip when I'm thinking about that. Hopped in the whip and we all in black. Shawty wanna ride to the hop in the back. Zero to 100, seen a rap on the dash. Dad kitchen up, dog, I'm moving too fast. Yeah. I'm in the big leagues. Told him don't miss me. We have here a very, very tactical training. Now we're training some slips combined with footwork drills from before. Check it out. Nice socks. Love his socks. Hey. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Mark Reese from Manchester. I've decided to come and train at Tiger just because the atmosphere, the environment, the culture, what's in the gym. You know, there's a lot of high end athletes in here, there's a lot of professional athletes in here, there's a lot of personal trainers, people who obviously work within the sporting industry. It's about the people in the building, the coaches, the level of the coaches is excellent as well. And overall, it's a fantastic place for you to improve yourself, for you to learn. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Sasha. I'm from Germany. This is my second time here in the Tiger Muay Thai. I come here for training boxing, MMA, Jiu Jitsu and Thai boxing. I think uh, this is the best place here in Thailand and uh, maybe a complete of the world for training for MMA and uh, when you want to make your fit. Let me show you a small drill about explosivity. This is just to activate the body from every angle. First from the front, then from the side then from the other side and then from the back. Just make sure if you turn explosivity to be proper warm, otherwise the injury risk is very high. Drop the weight, shadow box. Guys, we just finished our session with Huli. Huli is the, one of the main coaches of the head coaches in boxing of Tiger Muay Thai. He's uh, originally American Mexican or Mexican. It's good American. Let's say it's better like that. And uh, <laughs> also half Chinese. And um, but anyways, Huli. Um, 
what do you think is the biggest difference between the the boxing style here in Thailand and the boxing style in the in the, in the states? In the states, uh, it's more people focus on the jab. You can't get enough. I have to like drill that into people's heads. Jab, jab. One is none. Two is not enough. Set everything else with the jab. Here it's more like hooks, power punches a little bit. Still both sophisticated styles, but in boxing, you know, it is they focus on the jab a little bit more. Nice. Um, what do you think make this gym so much different to the others? What is the biggest advantage? Oh man, the diversity from any types of styles, from MMA to boxing, kickboxing. You get speed, strength, power, wrestling, everywhere. You just get a whole blend. You get the best of the best. My personal opinion. What do you recommend for anybody who wants to become a champion? Have, what, is your, what is your advice? Have the right mindset. Uh, when motivation dies, discipline takes its place. Even on those days you don't want to get up and run, the pad work, the sparring, the days that you don't want to are the days that really count. You know, the mindset. What's in between the ears is most important. You could train the footwork, the punches, but it's between here. You got to learn to acquire that. Yeah. Same with Vosna. Looks bad, but on sparring, he knocks everybody out. I believe, man. Bad mother, <laughs> shut your mouth. <laughs> what do you like the most about teaching people how to box? Uh, when you get that click in their eye, when I teach them something, and they don't know why they're doing it, I'm like, hey, you're doing it because of this, and you see it, and they're like, oh, okay, and that click. They're finally, oh, you get why I'm telling you this. If so. you see sometimes your, your students in a fight, mm -hmm and they lent a, a shot that you teach them, you get proud of yourself, of you see yourself in the fight somehow? Of course, that's the whole the teaching thing happens. You know, I teach, you learn, then you pass it on, of course. Okay, Poli, thank you very much for your time. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Y hasta luego. Adios. <laughs>